Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video. And today we have the board game, New Angeles, a cooperative game of intrigue, domination, and deception for four to six players. This is part of the Android universe. And of course, it's designed by James Nathan. New Angeles, the world changed, greed did not. As the largest, richest, and most diverse city in the world, New Angeles is a shining beacon of human achievement and advancement. But such success also makes the city a fertile breeding ground for powerful mega corporations, each striving to best the others by flexing their economic and political muscle. The battle between these giants often tramples those less fortunate underneath them. The city is thus a playground for the privileged and powerful, resting on a foundation of poverty and pollution. New Angeles is a game in which four to six players assume the roles of mega corporations set in the Android universe. Players cut deals and forge temporary alliances to gain leverage and financial superiority over their corporate rivals, all the while trying to maintain order and profitability in the thriving megalopolis of New Angeles. Okay, let's see who shows you what the board looks like. And all that good stuff there. The game is by Fantasy Flight Games. It's for ages 14 plus, four to six players. It lasts two to four hours to play this. And it was also released in 2016. Game contents. For more information about this game, you can go to fantasyflightgames.com. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what kind of goodness we have on the inside. We have our learn to play and rules reference book, so you can tell. Now it said two to four hours to play the game. Well, let's start off with the learn to play book. Read this first. Game overview. It's New Angeles is a political game in which four to six players assume the roles of the mega corporations of the Android universe. The players cut deals and forge temporary alliances to gain leverage and financial superiority over their corporate rivals all while trying to maintain order and profitability in their home city of New Angeles. Object of the game, New Angeles is thriving heart of the solar system's economy and every nation has a stake in its success and each corporation's responsibility to combat threats to the city's productivity, ensuing that its districts continue to produce their many goods and services. If the corporations fulfill the rules in this endeavor, the city will meet the demands of the economy and will remain under corporate control. Fulfilling the roles is one important way in which the corporations earn capital, the measure of their wealth and success. Each player's objective is to have more capital than his secret rival at the end of the last game round. Multiple players can win the game, but at least one player must lose. Negotiation and manipulation are the key to success in New Angeles. No individual can accomplish much without greasing palms and making promises. Players can and should do whatever it takes, all in the name of success. One thing to remember, however, if the players cannot work together to keep the city productive, no one wins. And then you got your component list. First game setup, create asset demand investment invent decks, create action decks, set round track and turn track, establish a city, create reserves, set resource tracks, assign active player corporations, Place capital tokens and threat tokens, draw action cards, assign rivals, make sure they're kept face down, draw investment cards. Playing the game, you got the action phase, draw action cards. Resolve a deal, action different types of cards, construction, biotech, labor, media, and security. End of turn. Then you got the production phase. Resource types, you got energy, consumables, tech, entertainment, and credits. Production modifier, strike, outage, orga crime unit, and development. Event phase, mitigating threat. Demand round, score investment, pay demand, revival demand, choose investments, different examples, winning the game. The game ends during the third demand round after the pay demand step. 
At that time, each player reveals his rival card. Each player that has more capital than the player indicated on his rival card wins the game. If a player's rival in is his own corporation, he wins if he has more capital than at least three other players or more than two players in a four-player game. It is possible and even likely for multiple players to win the game and at least one player will lose. The game also ends if threat reaches 25 in the threat track, signifying political takeover by the United States government and the end of the corporate corporation's special economic privileges. When the threat reaches 25, all players lose the game except the player with the Federalist rival card. That player wins the game if he has at least 25 capital, otherwise he loses as well. The Federalist is explained in greater detail later. Okay, deals and details, assets, main offers, negotiations, counterfeiters, or counter offers, I should say, support, resolution, different example of how to do all those kinds of things, additional rules, district components, human first unit, omnicrime unit, presec unit, outages, unrest, protest, strike, illnesses, android tokens, developments, Space restrictions and movements. Corp sheep contacts, assets, discard pile, trading, emergency actions. The Federalist, start of the first game, complete setup, set up cards. And your credits to all the good people who play tested it and tried this game out. Then you talk about the mega corporations, Gentechi Biotech, Haas Bioroid, Melange Mining, the Wayland Consortium, GlobalSec, NBN, Districts of New Angeles, Quayakil, Rabo Tagrad, Quinde, La Costa, Manta, Nyongai, Laguna Velasco, Rutherford, uh, Esmeraldas, Heinlein, Base de Cambe, and Shock Kana. Quick reference and production modifiers on your back page. So we got basically 21 pages, uh, 20 pages of instructions for your learn to play guide. But that wasn't enough. You now have a rules reference guide also. This is using the rules reference, complete setup, the golden rules, determine active player of your complete setup, All right, golden rules. Let's see what those are. The golden rules are fundamental, of, are fundamental game concepts on which all other game rules are built. The rules reference is the, de the definitive source for all rules information. If something in this document contradicts the learn to play booklet, the rule reference takes precedent. If an asset card ability contradicts information in the rules reference, the card takes precedence. If both the card and the rules can be followed at the same time, they should be. And complete setup, there are 12 steps to the setup. This tells you how to set up the game. Glossary of different terms. Lots of lots and lots of words. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. And then you have an index in the back where you can find rules if you get confused. Again, another quick reference. The two references are the same, which is good. So one on each side of the table, which is excellent. So you have your rules reference and your learn to play books. Right, so I'll put this actually put this one on top. Learn to play in your rules reference. There you go. There you go. Now, before I do that, I'll move that to the side again, and we'll put down our game board, which looks to be pretty, pretty sizable. So let's take a look at this. We talk about on the bottom, you got your tracker, investments, demands, assets. You have your different locations of the different types of areas around the cities. You got two trackers on top. So again, this is a pretty, pretty large game board. Again, you have your main offer, your revealed asset, counter offer. Down here again, you got some more counters down here. 
different locations around the city. Again, you've got your tracker all the way up top. And then we're gonna pull out the last part of the board. So again, each of these shows you, and down here, that's where the cards are. Then you've got your supply tokens. You've got your energy, consumables, tech, entertainment, and credits, counters for those, up to 10 of those. You got the root, Boss de Kayambe, you got Rutherford, you got your event cards, go over here. Esmeraldas is up there. Uh, Nihon Gai, uh, Laguna Velasco, R Rabato Gorod, got Manta, La Costa, Kinde, and then you got Kwayakil. And up top, again, as I stated before, you have your tracker all up top which goes from the bottom one goes from 1 to 25 the top one goes from 0 to 39. so if i pull this off real quick pull this off real quick i can show you the whole game board just give you a feel for the game board itself how large it is so this is a really really it's a beautiful game board I'm, I, Again, it's a beautiful game board. Large game board. It appears, if I'm just looking through the rules, it's going to be a challenging board game. It's not going to be uh, simple by any means of the word. Okay? Anytime it tells you it's going to take you two to four hours, you know it's going to take longer than that for a game. So there you go. you got your rule books there on top of that as well. Okay? Yep. Okay. This is not a solo game. This is not a game for two players. Minimum amount of players is four. Okay, so we also have this included in it. Here are your different characters. Global Sec. Lita Malcher is the chief. Complex solution. When an enemy unit is removed from a district, gain one capital, two security, one general. I'm going to back that. Okay, so it's one general, so it's different on the back. When an enemy is removed from enemy, Okay, so back here, it's two security, one media. And, the, and this is two media, uh, two security, one general. So it just seems like the general... Is there anything different on there? Okay, so it appears that this has this marking on this side. It doesn't have it on that side. So it's going to kind of, when you read through the rule books, it'll explain that one. So there you go. So there are some differences between the front and the back of the card. All right. Then you have NBN. You have Victoria Jenkins, CEO, when making news. When unrest decreases gain, one capital for each stage is decreased. Two media, one general. And you flip that over, it switches to two media, one biotech. Again, it has that marking on this side, no marking on this side here. So again, once you read through the rule book, it'll tell you how to use which side of the card to use. You have Wyland Consortium, Farid Ahamadi. Public relations officer, building a better world. When an outage token is removed from a district, gain two capital, two construction, one security. And this side, again, it has the marking. The other side did not. So it's, oh, this is the same. This is the same. This is changes. So two construction, one general. Two construction, one security. Then you have, so some of these seem to be turned over. So I'm going to turn them all, starting with the circle on the front. Okay. Melange Mining, Yuri Taluk, owner. Power change. When an event card is resolved, its, its threat does not increase by at least two, gain three capital. One general, one general, one general. And you flip that card over. It goes from general, general, general. Remains the same. Looks like he's the same both sides of the card. All right. That's pretty interesting. Nope, he remains the same on both sides of the card. Okay. Jinteki, Satoshi Hiro, the chairman. When an illness token is removed from a district, gain two capital, two biotech, one general, and you flip the card over. 
to Biotech, he switches again to Labor. That's the same. And there's your icons for each of them. Each of them has their icon in the top right corner, which is cool. All right, we got this too. Haas Bioroy. Cynthia Haas is the director. Engineering the future when one or more Android tokens are moved, gain two capital, two labor, one general. You flip it over, it gets two labor, one construction. So it changes from general to construction. The rest remains the same, except back here, it does not have that icon. Again, you're gonna have to read through the icons to see, read through the rule books to see what those icons mean. So there's that. And you have a bag that they go in, which is pretty cool. So we'll leave that there. So we got some more cards here. So we seem to have these cards first off. All right, so change that. You have cards that look like that. This. So we got different cards here. So we got them here. So let's just move them around a little bit. So we try to get all the cards together that are the same. Again, this was a used copy of the game when I purchased it, so look, some of the cards are a little... So we have one deck that looks like this. Another deck that looks like that. Some cards that look like this. That look like that. Look like this. And look like that so let's take a look at each of these cards so I'll flip this over so i guess that card's gonna be held this way you flip it over it says new arrivals android protest strike illness out outage human first or crime pre sec development it tells you what shows up here so this is worth three points so it says new arrivals outbreak lights out storing the stock slumlords hit the bricks. So I'm not exactly sure what this deck is used for. But there you go. There's your outbreak. So as you can tell, their information changes on it based on the point values. So you got two fours, you got two fours, three threes, and a five. So five, wow, it's loaded up. Maybe this is telling you where it's happening. The outbreaks, yeah, Android outbreak. It's gonna have five are there, seven are here, nothing are there. So it gives you all that information. So you got to look at the top, it says outbreak, hit the bricks, lights out, storing the stock, new arrivals, slum boards. Okay, that's that deck of cards. Then we've got the next deck, which is right here for this guy on the cover. So it says here, Beanstalk beset by protesters. See, yellow jackets disperse crowd, casualty, casualties minimal. If there is a human first unit in a tier three district, increase the threat by four. Otherwise, starting with the highest number district, each human first, you, first unit moves. Seven there, Rutherford nine, there. Locations, get a new location. So that's different. And the point values are down here, three, four, four. So you got two threes and two fours. Okay, humanity, labor, host, union, heads. Group denies affiliation with terrorist human first movement. Increased threat by one for each city. Human first unit in the city. It tells you which type of event is taking place. Human first st starts riot. Another day, another mob. Grumble's unnamed NAPD officer. If there is a human first unit in a tier two district, increased threat by two. Otherwise, starting with the highest number district, each human first unit moves. Activist cells awaken. NAPD blames recent unrest on organized terrorist cells within New Angeles. Starting with the highest number of district, each unit first unit moves twice. And it tells you where it happens. All right, so that's that deck of cards.
four of these cards. Trimoff Leaders Unite. Mayor's Inter-District Anti-Crime Task Force warns three major syndicates now allied. Increased threat by one for each organ crime unit in the city. It tells you where it's going to take place. Pistoleros hit squad strike. Rash of undercity violence. Hundreds dead. If there is an organized crime unit in a tier two district, increased threat by three. Otherwise, starting with the highest number district, each org or crime unit moves. And it tells you what location and the point value. Beanstalk owned by mob. Space elevator authority has links to organ org crime, says activists. If there is an org crime unit in a tier three district, increased threat by four. Otherwise, starting with the highest number district, each org crime unit moves. There you go. And then you got gang wars at all time high, 14K. Los Scorpiones, others wage all out war. Tells you where it's at. Okay, so that's this one. Then we have this one. There are threats. Helm 3 transport threatened. Space elevator experiences brief service interruptions as SEA. If there's an outrage in a tier three district, increased threat by five. Otherwise, there is an outrage in a tier two district, increased threat by one. And it tells you where in the point value. Earthquake Rock City. Rolling outages increase, crumbling, crumbling infrastructure. It tells you the location where it is and the point value. Then we have this card. Report record unemployment. Humanity labor claims bioroids clones to blame. If there are six or more districts in protest or strike, increased threat by four. Different locations and the point values. Average wage falls again. Welfare program slashed, social apps spark revolution. And that's this card here. And then we have the black card. You are the Federalist. You do not win normally. Instead, you must have at least 25 capital when threat reaches 25. HB, Hosp Bioroid. You must have more capital than Hosp Bioroid. If you are a Hospoyeroid, you must have more capital than three other players, two other players that are playing a four-player game. NBM, you must have more capital than NBM. If you are NBM, you must have more capital than three other players, two other players that are playing a four-player game. You must have more capital than Melange Mining. Again, you must have more capital than three other players, two other players that are playing a four-player game. You must have more capital than GlobalSec. If you are a global sector, you must have more capital than three other players, two other players of player for the game. Okay. Wyland Consortium. If you are Wyland, same thing as the other ones. If you are Gintech, you must have more capital than Gintech. Again, same thing at the bottom. So there you have it right there. So this tells you who you're going playing against, who your arch rival is. Okay. And those go in a plastic bag that it comes with also. Then you have your mini cards. Go back to some of my other unboxing videos. I do have cards that I unboxed for the, there's also a role playing game used with this Android system as well. That I have a bunch of the cards that I used. Uh, RPG cards uh, for NPC cards and stuff like that. For different weapons that you can build and stuff like that as well. So we've got different cards. We've got the NBN and all the different corporation cards. And then you have those to the side. Then you have these blue cards. Got these black cards, orange cards. These are all mini cards. And you have a whole stack of these blue cards, which I'm not going to read them all out. But I will take a look at these cards first, which would be our mini cards of the different corporations. So let's see what this says. Ruthless tactics. Oh, see, these are your tactics cards. Okay. Remove up to four enemy units from the city, then increase unrest by one stage in two districts, not in strike or outage. I understand that some criticize our methods, but I want to emphasize that our operators act entirely within the law. That's an emergency card. All right, so these are all emergency cards. Okay. HB, over, underpaid, overlocked, overclocked. Choose up to two resources and increase their quantity if in the supply by one. Then gain four capital and place two human first units in the city. You have to address numerous complaints, just not from the ones you'd expect. That's their emergency card. 
Massive reconstruction, remove up to three outage tokens from the city, then place two orb crime units in the city. It's unfortunate that so many people had to be rehomed, but with a little patience, you'll see that these projects are worth it. Energy for all. Each player draws four action cards of a type of his choice, starting with the active player and proceeding clockwise, then increase threat by one. My Mashaka taught me to share. Mandatory quarantine. Remove up to four illnesses tokens from the cities, then place two outage tokens in the city. Illness tokens do not increase threat during this action. Transmission under control. Emergency card. NBN sweeps week. Reduce unrest by up to four stages in any districts, then place two illness tokens in any districts. Distracting them from their troubles is the same as solving their problems. So there you go. That's this deck of cards. Then we have these. So technology sector, laundering scheme, banking sector, short sale, union agreement, healthcare initiative, energy sector, entertainment sector, power siphoning, retail sector, populist demissile, and militarized police. Let's read that one. It says gain capital based on the number of presec units in the city. One presec, three capital, two presec, six capital, three plus presec, eight capital. Pictures at the bottom. Okay. And there you are. Okay, so that's that deck of cards. Then you get this deck here. Power grid overload. Energy, consumables, tech, entertainment, credits. Fail result, increased threat by six. Recreational drug ban, increased martial, uh, Martian uh, violence. Hosting World Cup. Space elevator malfunction. Tourism spike. Refugee influx. Network disruption. Retail shortage. It tells you how it's affected. Fail result, increased threat by seven. So that's a real negative deck right there. Then we have our orange deck. Bane Trust. It's fine. They're cloned. The quantity of each action card type on your corp sheet is doubled. Your hand size is reduced by one. Lily Lockwell reporting live. At the start of a player's turn, if he has more capital than you, you may steal one random card from his hand. These are different androids. When you claim this card, draw five action cards of any type. Your hand size is increased by five. Caprice Nicey. Definitely not telepathic. When a player proposes an offer, you may exhaust this card. All right. Isabel McGuire. Mr. White. I see these are different characters you can play here. Marco Cuboro. Fumako Yamamori. Susan Chen. Some of these names are familiar to me again because I had the NPC players uh, cards that I used from uh, for the role playing game. These names sound very familiar: Susan Chen, Axel Westland, Mr. Lee, Midori, Bernice Mai, Brian Sinston, Hernando Cortez, Chief Gorman, Thomas Haas, Elizabeth Mills. Eco, Corporate Samurai, Sunny Labu, Toshiyuki Saki, Mark Yale, Locust Company, Rachel Beckman, Tanaka, Gurren Imashi, Nako Watanabe, Jackson Howard, The Fall Guy, Monica Singh, Aaron Maron, Coach Walden, Saul Estucio, and Wang Ya Ching. When this effect of an illness token increases threat, gain two capital. Doctor without boundaries. So these are different people that you can hire for different reasons. All right, that's cool. Different corporate assets, as they would say. And then you have this mass of bloom cards. Gentrification, remove one outage token from, so you got green, red, blue, so maybe that's orange, and there's your red, got 
black, or the pink, I should say there, yellow. So let's take a look at these. So you got the yellow ones. So this would be a puff piece. Media Circus, so this has to do with media. Spin Doctors, right. 247 Live feeds, right. So this would be, if you turn this over real quick, it'll tell you right there, it's for, right. The resource, uh, protest, strike, outage, development, that's for the cards up here. All right, so we're getting all that stuff in here. So the colors represent these different things. So that's like your media right there. Also, it could be these could be your decks for these each individual corporations. Also, so that would be your media group right there. You'd have this one here, which is the green, which is the I think it's the Wayland Yutani and gentrification. Vanity project, yep. Budget renovations. Art construction, yeah, that would be for that individual corporation. These cards for, are split up by corporations. So remove one outage token from any district, then place one price unit in that district. If it does not contain a price unit, each enemy unit in that district moves and it has a little quote at the bottom and it's used for construction purposes on the bottom. So these are construction. That's for media of the different groups. So this here is for down here. It says biotech information rec information procurement reduced threat by two if the players expend capital equal to or exceeding the number of players in the game. Each player can spend any amount of capital starting with the active player and proceeding clockwise. That's all for biotech, different things that can happen for your biotechs. And then we have one down here for security. So for riot control, scorched earth, full deployment, arrest orders. So let's just read one of those. Again, this is for security. Remove one preset unit from any district to remove up to two enemy units from the city. Then increase unrest by one stage in one district, not in strike or outage. I said low profile. It's a goddamn war zone out there. Security. All right. Then you have here, which is for labor, high risk investments, and you have labor solutions, efficiency experts. Again, it says here, choose three players. The first player you choose gains three capital. The second player gains two capital. The third player gains one capital. The corpse can be jealous of their free, uh, fiefdoms, but they'll cooperate if there's a profit to be made. So that, again, that's dealing with labor right there. And last but not least, you have your, oh, these are also labor, okay? And that's liquidation, okay? that under that deck there so there you go then we have some tokens it's a large one not sure what that's used for but there you go Got a bunch of tokens that look like this. Not sure what that's used for. Again, that marking was what, when I talked about it earlier in the game, I saw that that marking was on the bottom there. So, obviously it has something to do with that. All right, there you go. Got these orange triangle tokens. Oh, there's another one of those. But you've got your orange triangle tokens, which we saw from earlier over here. Some biohazard 
tokens. Get a bunch of those. Also, these are things that affect or are the effects that are happening around the city. To right. so the tokens, the same on both sides for that one. Yep. We got some more of those orange ones. Put those over here. Some more of those orange ones. Then we have where the riding was taking place. So you got in two different colors. You got the red one side it looks like it's three people and it seems like there's a mob of people so it might be the size of the mob that's happening there you go these obviously correspond with the events cards that are here getting the biohazard sign some more of those these again are over here And then, of course, we've got a couple more here. Got some more tokens here. We've got our biohazard, more of the biohazard tokens. You've got your Android tokens. Front and back are the same. Those are your Android tokens. And then we have some of these small tokens here, which are here. We have all the corporate names. And they have the number plus 40 on the back, all of them. So there's all your different corporations that you have there. And these are your counters for your different sides of the boards we have here which are your tracker these are your tracking pieces for the different again around the entire board as you can see up top on the bottom down here if I can put it down here without dropping anything your counter over here these are for these here are for your counters these are for your counters so it depends on this it depends on which part you're looking at so example this one here this goes with this here so it's your counter here keep keeps track of where you're at number wise and that's what those are for. So there's your cards, your punch outs, all that good stuff. Last but not least, we've got some figures. So your mech or your your warrior. Looks like a police bot or riot control. Very, very cool. So you get one, two, three, four, five. You get six of him. You get a guy that looks like this. Very a lot of high detail, really nice looking figures. But you wouldn't expect anything less from Fantasy for Light Games. They do a great job whenever it comes to you know, figures and stuff like that for their games. So you get, one, get a bunch of these guys. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see again. Let's see. Make sure you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those guys. You get a bunch of these guys. And that's a really, really cool figure. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those guys. So everything you see here is included. And this concludes our unboxing of New Angeles, the board game. 
designed by James Nyphen, a game of corporate intrigue, domination, and deception for four to six players. And it's for, used in the Android universe. Brought to you by Fantasy Flight Games. And again, the game is going to be a longer game. It takes between uh, two to four hours to play this game. So it is uh, not a game that you're going to sit down and pull out often. But it's a game that uh, looks like it could be quite challenging and quite interesting to play. So as always, thank you so much for joining us for this unboxing video. It's truly appreciated. If you enjoyed this video, you could always give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. You can also hit that subscribe button. This way you're kept up to date as to any time we release new content to the page. As always, thank you so much for joining us. Be safe, be well, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll catch you on the next unboxing video.